everyone, I'm back with a new products video. Like most of my new products videos, I'm gonna go pretty fast through each product, otherwise this video will end up being like an hour long, and nobody has time for that. First, I'm pretty excited about this new Apica notebook that we're selling. The notebook itself is not new, it's just new to our store. We've sold like the reporter style of this one and the twin ring style, but this is one of the classic B5s that they have, like regular notebook size. It has their traditional saying, most advanced quality gives best writing features. This notebook is very high quality. It has the double rings so that you're not, it, you know, they, your spiral doesn't end up snagging. It is a little bit higher quality than the twin rings, in my opinion. Twin rings are super, super popular, but I actually would prefer this one personally. Okay, carrying on. The piece and the procy are markers that are not exactly new to our store. I think we've had them a, you know, a few months maybe, but I don't think I've ever mentioned them before and I had a good story so it was worth mentioning now. So, okay, so we have the piece, which is pronounced peace, like, you know, peace out, <laughs> but it looks like this. I'm sure it's mispronounced a lot, and sometimes I wonder if that's the only reason some people buy this, but anyway, this is like equivalent to a permanent marker, like a Sharpie. It is oil-based. That means it's, it, you know, it is going to have a little bit of that permanent marker uh, stink to it. <laughs> but it comes in great color range, including like a yellow ochre. There is a great brown. Um, the violet is gorgeous. And it's just a really good classic marker with a double-ended tip. So these markers have like a more fine point here. And... A thicker point here which you can see neither tip is super super thick it's like you know for a marker of they're still pretty fine tipped I'll actually in in the description on the website it includes like the tip sizes which I can't remember the millimeters right now, but maybe I'll annotate the, annotate the video right now with them so that you don't have to go looking. Anyway, the the piece comes in, I got a double here, I think, six, 12 different colors, some standard ones, some, you know, bright, fun ones, and the Procky comes in even more colors than that. You can see them here. One of these, so I really like, super like the gray. I, I highly recommend this marker. There's also a pink that is, how do I explain this? This soft pink is good for people who are colorblind. And there is a more fluorescent pink. I think we call this one pale orange. Some people translate this flesh, flesh color, but I think that is just so wrong, so we do not do that. You've got the yellow ochre in that one too, a great brown, I love the brown. Anyway, so here is my funny story about the Procky. We got a call the other day from a bookstore owner, and he was telling us that he got, if you guys know who Tyler Oakley is, he is on, <laughs> he's on YouTube and has like 7.4 million subscribers or something totally crazy like that. He's quite the personality. I, I feel like I've known about him for years because he was, seemed to be like friends with some of the like beauty guru YouTubers that I have watched in the past. Anyway, I just thought like, oh, he's like, you know, funny, adorable guy. So Frank gets on the phone with this bookstore owner and he says, do you know who Tyler Oakley is? And I thought Frank was joking. Like, yes, I know who Tyler Oakley is. <laughs> and he was like, well, um, this bookstore owner got the writer 
for Tyler Oakley for a book signing, and these were the pens that he requires to have available when he's signing books for his book signings. Anyway, I thought that was pretty funny, and I was trying to decide, like, did I think that was kind of like diva-ish move to request a pen that is clearly not going to be that easy to get? Or, you know, why don't these people just bring their own pouch of pens? Although, maybe you just wouldn't want to worry about, like, showing up with all of these things. I don't know, it just seems like if you're going to do a book signing, like, you just want to bring the pens that you want. But anyway, so um, we've been getting uh, orders from bookstore owners for these pens. I thought that was pretty funny and exciting and cool. I also thought it was pretty funny that my husband had not heard of him. And then I told my husband, oh, he has like 2 million subscribers on YouTube. And then we, lo we looked it up and it was like way more than that. So anyway, okay, the piece and the proppy. Okay, next up, I'm going to keep going on my marker thing, <laughs> my, my marker theme. So we have a gorgeous new brush marker. This is the Art and Graphic Twin by Kudetake Zig. You have more of a pen tip on one side, a belt tip pen tip, and then you have a very flexible brush on the other. You can also get a blender, which lets you dilute colors, it lets you blend colors, it lets you kind of turn your drawings into something that looks more like a watercolor. So that is very cool. And um, if I didn't already say it, this it comes in like 80 colors. It was so much fun to swatch them. It comes in so many beautiful colors. For example, this one is Pale Rose, and I've been having fun with that. And then this one I had pulled out, the Lilac. I love that one. I've just been having a lot of fun. It comes in lots of different shades of gray, so you can, you know, if you're really into like comic book art, this would be awesome. Oh, the olive I also love. And there's actually two shades of olive, which is really exciting to me. There's olive and then a mid green, but there's also a pale olive. It's just, it's just a really awesome, fun, fantastic marker. And um, I'm really excited about it. Look at the link to this product on my website if you wanna see the swatches. I, it would just take forever if I sat here and swatched 80, you know, plus pens. Real quick, I wanna mention, I know I talked about these in a favorites before. We did recently restock the Kirarich sparkling highlighters in the five pack, because we ran out of the five pack pretty quickly. And they do come in the five pack, the three pack, and you can also get them in singles. So not a brand new product, but relatively new, and it's been restocked. Sorry, I have my like giant box of goodies over here. I really think it's worth mentioning this Kuretake Zig brush highlighter because it is the first brush highlighter that I have ever come across. So I'm pretty excited about it. I love how innovative Japanese with is with highlighters. Just in case you're wondering, I have tried using this to highlight and it is so much fun and it sounds kind of weird, like, uh, I don't know, at first you're like, don't you want precision when you highlight? But actually I felt that the brush highlighting worked much better, like it was faster, if that makes sense. And I, I felt like I had complete control still over what I was highlighting, so I really liked it. And I'm really excited, like I said, about how innovative Japanese highlighters are. Here's another pen that I'm super excited about. This one is the Lucina, and this is a ballpoint pen by Pilot. Let me show you. So first, we have always had the fountain pen version, which I personally use and I really love it. And most of you guys know that I don't do a lot of fountain pen videos because people get so picky about my techniques in them and they leave me nasty messages. I've been called barbaric. Let's see what else have people called me. Oh, just like hilarious nasty things about like you know how I don't do anything right with fountain pens yeah 
that's some that's some backstory on why you don't see me doing more fountain pen videos but anyway um what was i gonna oh yeah so this one is one that's already out of the plastic this has a screw cap which fits very nicely on the tip i just think it is so gorgeous let me make sure i'm in the video here sorry about that this one happens to be a medium tip but we have them in fine and medium I mean, it's just, it's an, it's a, it's, it's like one of the most gorgeous fountain pens. I, I wish I understood what style to call this. It is so classy looking to me. I almost feel like it has an art deco look to it. But anyway, that's the fountain pen that we've carried for a long time. We now carry the ballpoint pen, which one nice thing about it is that it's, quite a bit cheaper than the fountain pen. And also, if you're not interested in fountain pens, you can still get this look. Now, it took me a really long time to figure out, let's see, comes in three color, or four colors here. I'm pretty partial to the yellow for some reason, although they all look so pretty. So anyway, here are the colors it has such a nice weight and feel i don't know it's just really lovely but here's the thing that i that frank had to point out to me because i was so i was so confused about why this was different from the fountain pen i was like something's different and he said oh you know it looks like it has a cap but really it's just a clip top pen this cap just stays on and so you know it's never used for the tip and it's a retractable pen, so you're not gonna be losing your cap. It is 0.7 ink, of course it's refillable, but it's just a great option for someone who liked the look of the Lucina, but was a little scared away by the price or, or the fact that it was a fountain pen. So anyway, it, this is one of my current favorites. Okay, moving along. Okay, the Coco Edo, let me see, I, I pulled out some, I didn't pull out all of the variants that are available in the Coco Edo because it would take me forever and then it takes me forever to put them back away and then it takes forever to show them in the video. <laughs> anyway, so the idea with the Coco Edo is you pick a barrel. Here are some examples. And then you pick an insert. Inserts are available in a 0.5 ballpoint, like a liquid ink, and they're also available in a brush tip. I've just pulled a couple of my favorite colors here. This one is cool gray, and I'm actually gonna put a Coco Edo together for you because I get a lot of questions about this. People, People are very confused about one aspect of this. Let's see, which barrel do I want? Oh, is this the duck egg? No, this is blue dusk. I think it's really pretty. So I'll use the blue dusk with the gray brush tip. You need to take this plastic part off. The reason people get really confused is because when you're done putting it together, this part sticks out of the barrel and then people think they didn't put it together right, but they did. The idea is that it'll be easier for you to tell what color you have. That's not always the case when you compare certain colors. Some it's really obvious, like if you have a rose pink or a blue green, but if you have like sepia and a blue black and a black, it's hard to tell the difference in my opinion. Okay, so you put the, let's see how to, okay. Where it says zig, you're gonna put this down over the tip. You like tip it upside down, put it over the tip, okay? Then you can screw, actually, until it's tight. And then this, it just kind of pushes on like a normal cap. So you can just pull out and push on. You, of course, can like keep this on if you want, but I don't really think you're meant to. So then, here's your pen. You can see the tip sticking out. You should store them like this with the tip up, and th and that's one thing to remind you that the tip that it should be stored up like this. Let's see what else. Um, well, let me show you the brush tip. This is the cool gray. I can show you what it looks like.
Do you see that color? Other colors I really like are the sepia and the ballpoint. And um, let me quickly show you what the ballpoint is like because I think a lot of people are curious about that. Okay, got your zig, like this. <laughs> well, I don't know why, I just made a weird sound effect. And then zig, sepia, ballpoint. So you can see that color. It's pretty cool. And yeah, mostly I just wanted to show you how it looks after you put it together because there I, I've, I've had so many questions about that people are very confused and I totally understand why they're confused there's that let me push all this aside um, another quick mention of a restock is our our doctor grip four plus ones we've had to restock all of the colors Especially this mint green has been very popular. And actually, funny thing, the mint green, the original batch we had went pretty quickly and I wanted one for myself and I didn't even get one. So when we restocked them, I grabbed one and took it down in the inventory so I can have it. I have a video on how to mod this with Unistyle Fit ink if you want a colorful gel multi-pen. So I will link that below so that you have that reference just in case you're interested. And let's see. Oh yeah, two erasers I want to mention. These are both by Seed, which is a Japanese eraser company. We have a glow-in-the-dark eraser. If you want to... I am in a well-lit room, so I can't show you. But we do have a picture on the product image, so please see a link below in the video description. And you can see Frank has taken a really cool picture of what it looks like glowing in the dark. It really does glow in the dark and it really does erase well. So we really like these. It's called the Lumineon. Okay. And oh, and there's no difference between the colors, just simply the packaging color. And then this is like, oh, so gorgeous. This is a seed super gold high class eraser it comes in a gorgeous little box here and then the eraser itself has a gold metal casing which you know you're meant to keep on while you're using the eraser it's a very high quality eraser i think it would be so pretty as a stocking stuffer for like a a pencil lover or someone who you know that just erases a lot really like any stationary lover I think would find it very elegant and actually I've just thought of one more product I really wanted to show you so let me go grab it I'll be right back okay here is the product I want to show you this is the Penco Prime Timber 2.0 pencil. So it's a 2.0 mechanical pencil. It's manufactured by a Japanese company called High Tide. Penco is kind of a brand they have for some of their stationery. It was recommended to me by a friend of ours, actually, who said, you guys have to get this. And then it was really funny. We, once we looked into selling it, it was around the same time that this company decided they don't want their like to be like merchandising their stuff in the US anymore. It's, you know, it's possible that this pencil is going to be come hard to get. We'll always, you know, of course, always still try to carry it. But it's comes in pink. I know this looks orange, it's pink. Yellow, orange with the blue trim, which to me this looks like a Broncos product. And then this cream one, is it called cream or white? Hmm, I don't see on here. I think they call it white, W-H, white. It has like a hunter green trim, but it comes with a sharpener for the pencil lead. So you can actually, even though it's 2.0, you can keep it sharp. And you can refill it with any size two pencil lead. We sell 
the Stadler, and we also sell a Mitsubishi version of 2.0 LED. I'm sure you can find 2.0 LED maybe in a university bookstore too. It is B grade LED. This is the character for LED, the kanji for LED, and B. You do not have to refill it with B though. You can refill it with any density you like. So um, anyway, yeah, I just wanted to show off this pencil because it came so highly recommended. And once I got it, I loved it. It's made from American incense cedar, I, specifically California incense cedar. So for it's really nice because it has that, even though it's a mechanical pencil, it has that smell and feel of a traditional wooden pencil. Okay, I think that is all of the products that I wanted to show off to you today. If I think of more, I'll just make another video. And if you have any questions about these products, please let me know. Have a great day. Bye.